Well, good morning, Queensland, and it's wonderful to be here uh, from Redcliffe today, and in fact, from Woody Point Pharmacy. And our local pharmacists here, uh, Kylie and Steve, are the owners and are one of our many community pharmacies uh, that are vaccinating. But of course, before I talk about them and the great work we're doing on vaccinations, I just want to talk about our numbers today. So the good news is we have seven new cases in Queensland today, uh, one overseas acquired and in hotel quarantine, uh, six others that are directly linked to the Indrapilli cluster. And all all of those have had zero days infected in the community. So thank you once again to all these families who are staying in home quarantine to keep us safe and also coming out and getting their regular tests so that we know uh, whether anyone in those households or those close contacts are becoming positive. And of course, we are still seeing those positive cases turning up late in their 14-day cycle, which reinforces why it's so important that anyone who is ever a close contact and required to go into home quarantine must stay home for their entire period and undertake those tests. So that brings us to 143 in the current cluster uh, linked to Indrapilli. We have 165 active cases currently and I thank the 22,774 people who came out and got tests yesterday and we had 15,158 vaccines. And so we will see those vaccination numbers continue to go up uh, because not only have we got our new mass vaccination centre open this week at the Brisbane Convention and Exhibition Centre, uh, but the great news is, of course, we have our health vaccination centres right across Queensland and we have our GPs and now we have our community pharmacies like this one at Woody Point uh, online helping us as well and they've done uh, almost 300 vaccines here just in a week so it's wonderful and I thank Steve and Kylie for their incredible work. We have about 398 community pharmacies now operating in South East Queensland and uh, we have over 900, I think 980 community pharmacies across Queensland now. So if you're wondering where you can get a vaccination, make a booking with your GP, uh, go online, book with your community pharmacy, or some of them will be taking walk-ins as well. Or, of course, register your interest to get vaccinated at one of the Queensland Health Vaccination Centres, which includes the Brisbane Convention and Exhibition Centre. If we all get vaccinated, we know that this is a really important step for us to be able to open up our economy and stay safe. Uh, again, the message to everybody, please uh, come out and get tested if you have any symptoms whatsoever. Uh, message to everyone, if you're feeling unwell and you know you've got to go get a test, don't pop off to the pharmacy first to get some medicine before you get a test or on the way home. Please just go straight to getting a test and go home and wait for your results. Uh, but I do want to give a shout out to everyone who is helping us, all of our health workers, our pharmacists, our GPs, uh, who are helping us with the vaccination rollout. We're so pleased uh, with their support. Now today, uh, I've got with me our uh, Deputy Chief Health Officer, um, uh, Dr Smith, and I'm just going to ask him to say a few words and tell us a bit more about these six cases. Thank you, Doctor. <laughs> 